Now remember, a binomial has two terms. Think of bi like a bicycle, meaning two. Okay, bicycles have two wheels, binomials have two terms. So this is a binomial multiplied by a binomial. You'll recognize that you need to do binomial times binomial because the two brackets will be touching each other. It means that they are being multiplied by each other. We're multiplying the first bracket by the second and vice versa. Now, some teachers teach us as using the FOIL method. First, out is in as last, which I'll explain now. But basically, everything in the first bracket is being multiplied with everything in the second bracket. So what I mean by that is the x in the first bracket needs to multiply, be multiplied by the x and by the negative 3. So everything in the first bracket, both things in the second bracket. Then the plus 2 needs to be multiplied by both things in the second bracket. That's very, very important. So essentially, I have four little arrows going on here. Technically, four separate little multiplication sums. Let's do it. I'm going to explain this using the FOIL method as well. So the FOIL method just stands for firsts, outers, inners, last. So first means the first term over here multiplied with the first term over here. You can see it's first in this bracket, it's first in this bracket, and that is going to get me x times x is going to get me x squared. Now why x squared? Because when we are multiplying, we keep the base, add the exponents. They've got invisible ones over there. Okay, so that's f for firsts in the FOIL method. Then we've got o for outers. Now, outers just means the one on the outside over here multiplied by the one on the outside over here. So x multiplied by negative 3, negative 3x. Then we've got i, which stands for inners. The inners are these two right here on the inside. Okay, so 2 times x is positive 2x. And then the l stands for lasts. It's the last one over here multiplied by the last one over here. So 2 multiplied by negative 3, negative 6. Once we've done our method, so that's the FOIL method, or you can just think of it as everything in the first bracket needs to be multiplied by everything in the second bracket. Okay, once we got, get to this point, we have to do like terms. So remember, like terms have to have the same variable and the same exponent. So x squared doesn't have any friends, so it stays x squared. Then we've got negative 3x, positive 2x. Those are like terms. So minus 3 plus 2. You can do it on your calculator if you struggle with integers. Minus 3 plus 2. That is negative x. And then negative 6, just like that. Let's try example number 2. So we got 2x multiplied by x. That's technically our firsts. Just remind yourself you're multiplying. So 2 2 times 1, basically, there's an invisible 1 over there, then x times x is x squared. You are multiplying. That's your firsts. Then we go to our outers, 2x times negative 3y. What is that? That is negative 6xy. 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, it's a negative 3, so that's why it's a negative 6. x times y is xy. Then we got our inners. So inners means these here on the inside, negative 6y times x, that is negative 6xy, and then we do our lasts. So negative 6y times negative 3y. Remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. 6 times 3 is 18. y times y, remember, you keep the base, you add the exponents. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then we need to do like terms, and in this case, this xy and xy, these are like terms. So you have negative 6 of them minus another 6. With integers, sometimes my classes get confused. I say negative 6, you owe someone 6 rand, then you owe them another 6 rand. So how much do you owe them in total? You owe them 12 rand. So you're in the negatives by 12. Negative 12 xy, and then the x squared and the y squared here, yeah, they don't have any friends, so it's just carry it down. Now, we essentially have two types of binomial times binomial. So we have squaring a binomial or binomial square. So it's when we take a bracket, so x plus 3, and we say to the power of 2. What that essentially means is that we need to take this bracket and write it out twice. So x plus 3. 
three x plus three. That's what the two means. It's basically the same as if I go two squared, or let's rather say three squared, just to avoid confusion. Three squared, what does that mean? It means three times three. So if you have a bracket squared, it means bracket times bracket. You write it out twice because of the two and you do the method that I just showed you. Same thing here. This is a square binomial. So it's exactly the same bracket written out twice. And I have a shortcut for dealing with this, which we will get into in the next video. Then we have what we call the difference of square binomials or difference between two squares binomials. Can you see that these brackets are almost identical? But this one is a plus and that one is a minus. Again, I have a shortcut for multiplying binomials like this. Just take note that these are two separate scenarios, two separate shortcut methods, which we'll do. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.